All right, so today you're going from Gillette to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and you're going to be driving on what's known as the Craton of the continent, which is the part of the continent that's the farthest away from any um, tectonic edge, like the Pacific where we live in Portland, it's at the edge of a, a tectonic plate, but where you are right now, you're on the Craton, so you're like in the most stable, most centralized, most interesting portion of our continent as far as like Earth history research goes. The Black Hills rose kind of around the same time as all those mountains that you just drove through rose. It's just like like the easternmost expression of it for whatever reason. Um, it's kind of an outlier. They don't exactly know why, but um, an aerial image of the Black Hills, it's sort of like a bullseye and the uh, the outermost layers are the youngest and the innermost layers are the much older um, materials. There's all kinds of neat rocks in there. There uh, are metamorphic rocks and there's two really interesting types of igneous rocks, um, intrusive. So about two and a half billion years ago, magma that got in place a full 15 miles below the Earth's surface. Now just to get a sense of how deep down that is, make a note on your odometer and just be aware of how far away 15 miles are. And you can imagine, it's like, okay, so it was there that this magma was in place. And it was so deep in the earth that it cooled really slow. So it allowed crystals to get very, very large. And eventually it got uplifted so we can see them in the Black Hills. You also have another type of um, granitic rock in that area. I've seen it myself, it's completely amazing. It's called a pegmatite, and that means the crystals can get enormous, like tens of feet across in some cases, and really enriched with kind of rare minerals, like rare earth minerals, uh, like 175 different types of minerals can be found in pegmatite, which is really cool. Another type of granite, it's much, much younger. It's like, as opposed to the 2.5 billion years of this other granite, this one is only 50 million years old and they were in place kind of interestingly, they were injected into sedimentary layers, kind of like you would put cream, inject into a cream puff. So it was injected between these sedimentary layers of pastry and it kind of like made a little dome. So it kind of looks like a little bit of a mushroom shape and they're called lacoliths. And you see a lot of lacoliths um, in the interior Black Hills. If you are on I-90 when you're getting to milepost number 57, take note because in the next several miles from milepost 57 to milepost 60, you're going to be traveling through about 1,500 feet of sedimentary deposits and they were all laid down during um, the mid-Cretaceous Seaway when that ocean was over the continent. And here's an image of the mid-Cretaceous Seaway so you can get an idea as to what I'm talking about. You're, you're kind of time traveling when you're driving through that section of the highway. You're going through millions and millions of years of Earth's history at about 70 miles an hour or however fast you're going to go. Now the Badlands. So the Badlands are kind of recent erosion. So that's why they're so kind of fresh and um, able to be enjoyed is because they haven't eroded all the way. And you're gonna see some really beautiful, distinct layers of all kinds of different colors. And the colors are impurities that are in these fine grain clays and ashes. And so some of the impurities that you would find are um, derived from iron and pyrite and manganese and copper. So you'll get reds and yellows and oranges and purples and uh, greens, like a really pale green, a beautiful patinaed soil. Um, and they're all layered. You'll see at the top of some spires and mounds a very distinct white layer, and that's ash from the Western Cascades. And the Cascades that we know are actually known as the High Cascades. The Western Cascades formed first, they're all volcanic, a little more violent eruptions than the ones that we're familiar with. And then upon those grew the High Cascades. It was like two distinct uh, volcanic episodes, but that's over you know, where I am. Ash from the Western Cascades up on the top of those Badland ridges. Once you get from the Badlands, you're going to be driving towards Sioux Falls. It's all remarkably flat. Uh, it's a lot of glacial affected areas like glacial scouring and then glacial deposits. So it's super flat material. And you'll cross the Missouri River, which is another large drainage um, feature on our continent. 
and then you're going to get towards uh, Sioux Falls and another neat rock in that area is called the Sioux Quartzite and it's much more ancient than most of the rocks in that area. It's about 1.7 billion years old. So this is some ancient stuff and the Sioux Quartzite is what Sioux Falls falls over. It's a really resistant layer compared to the other sedimentary rocks around it. Really distinct, pinkish color. It's really lovely and I hope you enjoy your drive today.